Hello anybody, I am Elthag Patrol, and this is Binding Advisor Wrath of the Lamb. That's right, I'm back with another custom challenge run. This run is brought to you by Nicholas Schwete. Schwete? Schwete. Schwete. I have no idea how to pronounce Nicholas Schwete's name. Schwete? Schwete. I'm not really sure. It's called the Telltale Heart. And, uh, essentially, it's a red f ref red France? It's one of those red Frances to, uh, Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, the Telltale Heart. Uh, and, uh, essentially, we have the candle, mom's knife, sacrificial dagger, sacred heart, uh, greater than three, blood bag, lucky foot, the peeper, and ghost baby. Our goal is blue baby. We can't take blue hearts. We can take white hearts. And we're not allowed any, uh, familiars other than ghost baby and sacrificial dagger. So I assume that he means by familiars, he also means, like, orbitals. Okay, that's cool. And then, uh, I can't pick up any blue hearts or anything like that. Uh, and I also can't use bombs for escaping combat. So, uh, that's the general rules of the challenge run. And, uh, yeah, essentially I'm going to try to beat the game like this. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. So, I started this run. Can I tell you a little... Can I, can I bring you guys on a little bit of an adventure with me right now? Um, I, I, I started this challenge run before. For, uh, for several seconds. Or, or several minutes, actually. Uh, but, uh, what happened was, oh, okay, so we can't take the orbital, we can't take either of those things, actually, so, uh, we will not take either of them, uh, is a thing that will happen. Uh, anyway, so, yeah, the, we suck on a dong for money, also we can't replace the candle, but I mean, you know, that should be pretty self-explanatory, you don't replace the candle, I mean, you generally don't replace the candle anyway, right? Let's be honest here. Alright, there's a heart, and okay... And I guess we might as well go into this thing here. I don't, we could blow up the greed of judgment, dude. Maybe we'll do that. But anyway, so I started this challenge run. And essentially, OBS, which I used to record, freaked the butts out. Like, super butts. Like, it's super butts out. Like, so I use hotkeys to switch to, like, my outro, you know the little outro thing I have, the little video thing? So I, I use hotkeys for that, and I use the number pad so that there's no chance of me- Oh, we're out of keys. Or out of bombs, rather. Um, but anyway, so I use the number pad to make sure that, you know, I don't accidentally hit anything. Well, you know how the number pad also maps, uh- Aw, oh, shit! Okay, well, he said no familiars. That's an orbital. It's not a familiar. So I don't... I'll pretend that I didn't realize or think about that thing that I thought I thought about. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry if that just occurred and screwed up the run, Nicholas Schwanty. 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 Um, but, uh, you know. By the way, uh, the custom challenge run was posted to reddit.com slash r slash alpaca patrol. It's the sticky post. So if you want to go upvote a challenge run or see a ch or, uh, you know, make your own challenge run, then, uh, please go there and, uh, and, and do it because I would, I require your services. There's challenge runs that, uh, posted there every day. Like, at least, I I've been seeing, like, one, like, you know, two to three a day. But, you know, th they need to get upvoted, too. And don't upvote the ones that say done, because those are the ones they already did, so suck it, basically. Uh, let's see what we got here. A blue heart and a troll bomb. Well, uh, we can't take the blue heart, and we won't take the troll bomb, so, uh, away we go, I guess. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, what was I say? Oh, uh, the... Okay, so, uh, so... The numpad inexplicably, today, with OBS, it decided to just start playing my... It started to just assume that the numpad was the arrow keys. So when I was going to like fire to the fire to the right, I, oh shit! Okay, I, I took I took a heart. So there's actually there, I took a blue heart. So there's a contingency here. If I pick up a blue heart by accident, you must lose it within the room you are in. If there is no way to lose the heart in the current room, you must take it away with addition to another full heart of your health the first chance you get. The effect does stack. Uh, if you somehow pick up more than one blue heart. Okay, so we have to basically, um, take damage twice here. Oh, well, we killed that thing. Alright, well, we have to take a full heart of damage now, essentially, is what we're learning here. Take one full heart. I can't take a full heart of damage. I'm trying really hard to follow the rules here, game. Alright, let's go in here. Um, anyway, so, um, yeah, well, that was an easy one. <laughs> That was an easy... Okay, so there's that... Ha I won't take that ha half heart. 
And the reason I'm not going to take that half heart is pretend that I did the damage to myself in in whatever way, and then I took that half heart. You see what I'm saying? You get what I, you know what I mean? I think you get what I mean. Whatever. Anyway, we'll move on. Basically, I'm not breaking the rules is essentially what you're learning here. Um, so, uh, yeah, we'll take that half heart. We can because we're back to full health now. Uh, and then I guess we'll just leave. I mean, we could look for the secret room, but uh, it's going to be hard to find. It could be here, though. Let's see. Why not? Maybe it's here. Oh, it is here. Oh, and the, my little unicorn. Great. I will not use that item. Uh, anyway, so yeah, so, so essentially what was happening is every time that I would fire to the right... I would, uh, I would, I would play my outro, which is awful, obviously, for very obvious reasons. Ah, uh, fuck it. Oh, yes, I will take that health up. That sounds amazing. Thank you, Golden Chest. That was well worth the key. Um, anyway, so, yeah, so I would, I would, for obvious reasons, you know, get fucked often. Uh, sure. Yeah, sure. If you're a Dota fan, you know that that is... Uh, what Tusk sounds like. Anyway, so, yeah. So, uh, I just keep playing my outro, which was really annoying, for obvious reasons. And, uh, so, you know, I, I had, I basically spent a bunch of time trying to figure out what was going on there. And eventually I did. It was just that OBS decided today they were gonna just change the rules on how their program works. I don't know why, like, it didn't even update or anything either, so. I don't know, man. OBS is weird. I would highly suggest, like, if you're starting out in this, I would totally suggest uh, that you use OBS in general uh, because it's super easy and it's free and it makes high quality stuff. So I, I would, I would highly suggest OBS if you're going to start doing YouTube or Twitch or whatever. Uh, go for OBS, like for sure. But I have to use the candle more because you know I love that item and I haven't used it at all. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, I would suggest OBS, but I will say, there are some, like, weird, crazy issues with it that are strange, that make me wanna just, I, I think I might actually switch over to XSplit, which is weird, because I just told you that, like, you know, OBS is great, man, it's fucking awesome, I'm not gonna use it because I'm not a fucking plebeian like you fuckers. Are you supposed to say plebeian or plebeian? Because you say, like, pleb, is it plebeian? Maybe you say plebeian. I don't really know. I mean, I don't think a lot of people really know, to be honest with you. How long has it been since Latin was spoken as an actual language? A very long time, if I had to assume, or guess, or do either of those things that make sense. Ooh, a bomb, and good, we'll take damage from the fire, like a smart guy, and uh, I guess we'll just, you know, fight this boss, why not, whatever. Uh, we'll even use the magician on him, yeah, let's, let's use the magician, yeah. See, see what this boss wants to do. Mmm, mmm, hey boss buddy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you with my knife. And I'm gonna hit you with the with the candle, and then I'm gonna hit you with the knife again. Yes, I will take that health up. That sounds great. Um, yeah, there are no like rules against. Yeah, there's no rules against like taking items, so we can still take whatever we want. Anyway, so uh, yeah, that's um, I don't know. That was a big butt butt happening, butt happening that happened. I've been playing uh, Civ Five a bit. I was playing a little bit of that today with uh, Cameron, and unfortunately, yes, no, still no Camix Rob in that way. Although I would love it. Um, it's, uh, it just ain't gonna happen. Cam's just completely too inconsistent to do it, unfortunately. But, uh, anyway, I was just playing it casually for fun. And, uh, I, I had never played Brave New World. So you can make a religion in that. And, you know, I found a religion. You can, well, you can found a religion or whatever. And, and I found a religion. It was the, it was the Tangri's, uh, thang. Ooh, Guppy's Paw! Well, we can't use Guppy's Paw, though I totally would right now. Uh, we can't use it because we can't have blue hearts, so uh, we're not gonna use it. I will use a bomb, though. And you know what? I'm gonna use another bomb here. Be oh, are you farting on my mouth right now? It did this stupid thing where it just blew up the rock. Well, never mind. I, I was gonna go to the, um, I was gonna go to the, the shop, but... Obviously that didn't work out. Fuck it, let's open this up. Hey, Tammy's head! Look at that. Alright, whatever. That's cool. We got two, uh, we're two for two on items out of golden chests today. It's pretty good. Oh, a blue, a red heart. Awesome. Anyway, uh, so, uh, yeah, anyway. I found the Tangri religion, which was the, uh, or I founded, rather, the Tangri religion, which was like, uh, it's like a, it's like a bird image. Anyway, I... This story, I'm realizing, has absolutely no climax. There is nothing good that happens at the end of this story, really. 
essentially, it was a bird picture, and I named my religion the Bird Lords. I thought it was hilarious, but, you know, now looking back on it, and considering how long it took to really explain the story, it really makes me feel like perhaps I shouldn't have told it, and also, perhaps, it's not that interesting. So, um, sorry about that, I guess? But... <laughs> We made the bird lords. I also drew a bird lord, which was pretty cool. Or I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, but I, I drew a bird lord inquisitor. Because you make inquisitors in that game uh, with your religion. Which, the religion, I mean, it seems cool. But I don't understand the purpose of it, really, to be honest with you. Because, um, you know, like, I spend, I spend a long time just making other dudes my religion. But I, I don't seem to gain a very real benefit from it. I guess it depends on what the upgrades you get are, but I, I don't know, man. It just seemed kind of whack. Kind of just a bit whack. Just a little bit, just a little bit, a little bit whack. A little bit, a little bit not good. So, I don't know. Maybe it's awesome, but I obviously don't understand it totally. Uh, but we are the Bird Lords, and the Bird Lords are us, and uh, that's the name of our, of our, <laughs> of our store. We call us the Bird Lords are us. Um... Well, it makes no difference whether I... Actually, it makes a big difference if I use this key right now, because essentially, that means that I will have gained one key by using the two spades. Oh, the mulligan! That is such a rare item, and it's such a glorious one at that. Hot damn, I'm pumped about that. Good, I'm glad. We have a mulligan! Mulligan's a great item, I, I love it. It's amazing. It's so good. It's so rare, yet so fantastical. Um, oh, some bombs. And, uh, yeah, so the Bird Lords. We made the Bird Lords. It's great. It's a great time. I like the Bird Lords. Me and the Bird Lords, we go way back. This is a, it's a fantastic religion. We had to destroy Carthage. It's pretty nice. Carthage, cool city. Or a cool, uh, nation. They're dead now in my Civilization game. But cool nation in history. They, uh, you know, one of the only, only nations to ever really test Rome's strength. Uh, which I suppose is not really true. Oh, you son of a bitch, Peeper. You son of a bitch! Why did I even try to get that blue rock? I can't get blue hearts. God, I'm dumb sometimes. Anyway. Also, why didn't I use the knife? Oh, man, I am just... I'm not feeling well today, evidently. Alright, here we go. Mm, that didn't do any damage, unfortunately. This will. You dead, bro! You dead! Fuck it, we'll take this! I don't even give a shit! Let's go down to the next floor. Also, my foot just fell asleep. You having your foot fall asleep sucks. Like, seriously, it sucks. It's like the worst thing. Uh, it's almost as bad as having your... your dick fall asleep. Sorry. I've been cursing a lot today, so... It kind of just comes with the territory right now that I, I was just gonna curse there. I, I just... It, not that I have a problem with cursing, really. Uh, because, you know... It, it stands, it has a place in humor. Not all the time, but it has a place in humor. Uh, obscenity can be used uh, for humorous purposes. And there are some people who have like this, um, this absolute ideal of it that, that like, you know, yeah, obscenity can't be used for humor, or you shouldn't be using it for humor, or it's like cheap humor. I don't think that's necessarily true. Honestly, there's certain times when obscenity is the only way to really fully express did I just drop? Oh no, the bomb's right there. Okay. Well, I mean, well, what's the point of doing that actually? Now that I think about it. Anyway, let's just open that up and be done with me being an idiot for a while at least. Okay. Some blue red hearts. Blue red hearts. The best kind of hearts, in my opinion. Also, the best part of waking up: Folgers in your cup. I don't know if you guys knew that, but uh, this series sponsored by Folger Folgers, which is the knock. It's the cheap. No I'll be honest with you. It's the cheap knockoff brand of Folgers. Um, oh, a tears up. Oh, that doesn't do anything. Well, whatever. We still got to tears up, so that's cool. Anyway, uh, yeah, so it is sponsored by Folgers, and uh, they're paying me 15 bucks uh, every year for showing off their brand. Hopefully you guys will buy some Folgers. You can find them in your local 99 cent store in the coffee aisle, which most 99 cent stores, they don't have a coffee aisle, so you're going to have to search a little bit harder. You're gonna have to work a little bit harder to get your, uh, to get your fix of Folgers. Let's just say that. It's gonna, you're gonna have to work a little bit hard. But hey, once you do have some Folgers, especially if you have it with a side of Butt Hay by Nabisco, man, is that a great way to wake up in the morning. 
I'm told anyway. I never actually tried Fulglers, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't know if they're if they're good or not. They could be awful. I have no fucking clue. Whatever. They just pay me money. I just get mad guap, son. Fifteen dollars a year. Actually, uh, you know, it'd be really funny is if, if someone actually believed that. Um, it would be funny because it's true. I'm paid by Fulglers every damn day of my life. Sort of, in a way. I mean, I guess if you get if you get paid like fifteen dollars a year, in a way, you are getting paid every damn day of your well of your life during that year. Which I guess you could still technically say, really, you just you know get paid every damn day of my life within that year. I mean, you could just have a little, little you know little little thing, a little add-on thing. You know, this is, was there's nothing wrong with that. It's not like you know the world hasn't done that before. Added a little add-on thing. I mean, that's what contracts are about, right? Just little little add-on things. That's this is why I should be a lawyer. I don't know if you guys knew that, but I really another tears up. Interesting. Okay, well we have the hermit, which transports us to the shop, which eh, might be good on the next floor. We use the two of spades eh, because we need a key. Oh, good bum friend. Well, fuck it. Why not? I guess we can't actually get greed on the next floor, which is kind of nice. So I'm pretty happy about that. So we're actually going to go right to the Hermit. Or use the Hermit immediately, rather. Is what I meant to say. And there he goes. We Are we not allowed to go to Devil Angel Rooms? No Angel, the Devil Rooms, or Treasure Rooms. Okay, cool. So let's take that speed up. Let's take that heart. Let's go see what's... Ah, no. If it's Krampus, then we have to fight him. Nah, whatever. Let's just go use the Hermit real quick. Oh! Would you look at this? We have Key. We have Ladder. I guess we might as well take the, the bomb, too. Um, oh, wait a second. Did I see something? I was, I might have dreamt it, actually. This is how much I want this. I was just thinking about, because I was just, I was th I've been thinking about it. Actually, you know, I think I'm going to watch some tonight. But, um, I've been thinking about, uh, not Doctor Who. Well, I haven't been thinking about Doctor Who. It was a good show. But I, what I've been thinking about was Samurai Jack, because that show is just so goddamn good. I thought that I heard that they actually are making the movie. But I think I also might have dreamt that. I might have had a dream reading some news article about them making a Samurai Jack movie. And I I feel like I don't wanna I don't wanna I don't wanna lead you astray. It might not be actually it might not actually be being made. <laughs> Which would be unfortunate, because I, I think a Doctor a Jactor a Jactor Who movie would be excellent. Wouldn't you guys see a Jack Actually, could you imagine if there was a Doctor Who Samurai Jack crossover? Oh god, the boners that we would have. The boners that we would have. Actually, it would be a really awful crossover because like Samurai Jack, the whole you know point of his existence would be to travel back in time and doc the Doctor could just be like, oh yeah, the fucking, yeah, I got you right here. You travel back in time, yeah sure. No big. I got you bro. <laughs> then it wouldn't, wouldn't really be a thing. It'd, just be, it'd be a very short crossover, let's say that. It'd be an extremely short crossover. Oh, uh, well, we probably shouldn't fight Mom right away. Where are we going? Are we going? Oh, we gotta go to Blue Baby. So we can't take the tick. That would be very bad. If we do take the tick, then we probably would... Oh, yeah, I'll take that heart. Uh, if we do take the tick, then we'd probably just use Mom's purse or whatever. And then, um, to get the Polaroid. Just because, you know, that's part of the run. Then we have to go to Blue Baby. How many night rooms are we really realistically gonna have? Because this is this is kind of an absurd amount of night rooms right now, but we're still good. Let us away. Okay, we're doing mad deeps, all the deeps in the world, coins taken by bum friend, whatever. It's not like we were using them anyway. Also, you know the NFL playoffs are on today. Oh, Shiza Minnelli. Unfortunately, my Jets are, are not in there, which was which was very sad. But I got to see Andrew Luck win. That was pretty cool. If you guys don't know who Andrew Luck is, it's cool. To Seriously, he is a legitimately cool dude. Ooh, a blue heart that I can't take. So I'm not going to take it. That's basically how that goes down. Oh, dang it. I did read the Doctor Who Star, Star Trek crossover. It had Sean Connery as, as one of the captains. Oh my god, can you imagine Sean Connery as a captain of the Enterprise? Oh, the boners. The boners you would have. I've been watching also a lot of the, you know, original Star Trek. Not that I wasn't before, but I, I saved a couple episodes for myself to, you know, go back and watch later. Because I'm really enjoying it. The original series is really fucking good. Like, really good. I, I kind of like it a lot more than I like The Next Generation. Not that Next Generation's bad. I like Next Generation, too. I watch, I watch a lot of that as well. Uh, almost all the episodes of that series. And it's good. Oh. Balls of steel. Well, 
So the way that this works is I can actually, if I can remove my blue hearts in the room, then I don't actually have to waste um, my health. Which is nice because in that other room, I actually did, I did have to uh, use an extra heart because I didn't have, um, I didn't have any means. I didn't have any bombs, so uh, I had no means to actually, you know, hurt myself, harm myself in any way, so... Yeah, it, was, it worked out. We also have a buttload of money. I was gonna say a fart ton, which I've been saying a lot. And I have to say, I think it's hilarious. I I really do. You know, sometimes, you ever, okay. A lot of times I'll make myself laugh or like, I'll feel super narcissistic when I'll, I'll go back and I'll watch a video of mine or something. And then I'll say something in it and I'll laugh. And I feel really vain when I do that. I don't know why I used that bomb there. That was uh, my own fault. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I'll just, I'll laugh because, like, I don't know. I think my own jokes are fucking hilarious because I'm a fucking narcissist. I don't think there's any other way to really, uh, to really, you know, uh, explain that, I guess, other than me being a narcissistic douchebag. Like, really, like, how else could you explain that, possibly, of me laughing at my own joke? It's just me. I'm just a narcissist, basically. I love myself, which is great. You know, you guys should all love yourselves. That's a, that's an important thing. Telepills. Whoa! Luck Factor Omega. I don't know what that means, but we've got it. We've got Luck Factor Omega engaged, friends. Luck Factor Omega engaged. We killed that mm, angel fetus. That was my, that was my little, uh, my, my, oh, look, we got the Fallen. That's interesting. Actually, why do we have the Fallen? Oh, we don't have to take a Devil Trade. Interesting. So you don't have to take a Devil Trade. You just have to get a Devil Room, and then you have a chance of getting the Fallen. Intriguing. Ooh, Rage. I will take that. I also will take that half a heart, mm, you know, not losing the Polaroid of Incivility, because I have another half a heart in that other room, so suck it, people. People should suck it in general, really. Uh, I mean, if you really, if there's a general going, actually, I would totally, you know, make a general suck it. Has there ever been a female general? Not to be sexist or anything. I mean, I suppose if I found a general and you really wanted to suck it, I'd just be like, hey, you know, whatever, man, do it, go for it. Uh, but has there ever been a female general in the American, in the United States military? I wonder. I really wonder. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I guess I assume it's pretty easy to check. I would, I would imagine. You know, you just Google. Pretty much. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like... Fuck it. Let's open that. Ugh. One time, one time we got a white heart from that, which means that now it's the, it's the variable ratio reward system mentality, man, where I got the white heart from it one time, so I will play that every time that I can now. And I can't do anything about it. It's just human nature. That's just... That's just what's happening. Actually, that's that's the whole reason you even like the Binding of Isaac, is variable ratio reward systems. I won't go into it, uh, the psychology of a variable ratio reward system, because I've done that multiple times in videos. Like, seriously, I feel like I've talked about variable ratio reward. There's even a running joke between, uh, like, Cam and, and Dennis and Green and, and Austin and them about me talking about variable ratio reward systems because I talk about it all the time. So I'm not going to go into it, but needless to say, it's very interesting stuff. <laughs> I find it very, very interesting, personally. Um, and, you know, I would suggest perhaps you look it up on your own, because I, again, I don't want to, I don't want to sub subject the poor people who have seen a lot of the, these episodes of Binding of Isaac to another topic on, or another discussion of, oh, they're the Ranger Road Systems. Okay, good. You gave me the flat penny, which is kind of cool, I guess. But, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll use it. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, that's a little bit... There we go, okay. Now, do we want to use two hearts in the middle of the street? Probably not. Okay, okay, we got the, the thing! Okay, we're still good. We're just fine. Oh, God, there's, you know, there's a website called prankdial.com. The only reason I know that, you want to know why? My mom used prankdial.com on me today. And, um... It had, there was, it, basically what happened is like, there's this, there's the automated, basically robots 
that uh, talk to you, and then they, they wait a couple seconds so that, you know, you have time to interject if you if you so chose. And essentially, what it is, is you get th two free dials a day, and it seems to be pretty much legit, by the way, just in case you were thinking, oh, probably just like a, you know, a fishing site or something. It doesn't really do it, you, you just have to put in a phone number, which I assume maybe, maybe they signed me up for some awful uh, telemarketing, which is entirely possible, to be honest with you, and I wouldn't be surprised if that were to happen. But anyway, so prankdial.com, uh, an old lady essentially called me up and was like, Oh, do you have any toilet paper? And I'm like, no, I don't have any toilet paper, lady. And, uh, and then we made out for a while. I, I got her number and, and we had a fun time. Oh man, I wish I could use this book of revelations right now. Oh, it'd be so nice. It would be so nice. How is the boss not here, by the way? Anyway, so, uh, yeah, the thing. I'm riding in a race car, by the way, while I'm telling you this story, which is why uh, it sounded like that. I will blow you up. I probably should have played it, to be honest with you. But whatever. Let's just move on. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, right, we can't use bombs to skip rooms, which sucks, because I would love to skip this room a lot. Unfortunately, no such availability because that is part of the rules! Darn it! I knew I was going to take damage multiple times in this room. Shit, we might not even beat Isaac this uh, this run. Which is sad because, you know, let's be honest here. We got we got some pretty got damn good items here on this run. Ooh, another red heart. That's amazing. Uh, Shiza Manelli. Okay, what was I talking about? Oh, the prank doll, yeah. So, old lady trying to give me toilet paper, and then uh, after a while, it was just like, ha 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 ha, you've just been pranked by prankdial.com. It was just like, oh, alright, that was weird. Very strange. Very strange thing that occurred to me today. Oh dear. Oh dear, that was a close one. Uh, and then, of course, they have the traditional. Uh, whatever it is, the you kick my dog thing, which, you know, might be, I mean, that thing is, like, basically as old as the internet, man. Which is funny that I can say that as, it, like, I can legitimately say that that is as old as the internet and know that that is true because I'm, I am as, I'm older than the internet. Did you guys know that? I'm older than the internet. There are, are probably a, a lot of you, if I'd have to imagine, that are not older than the internet, that are, that are the same age as the internet even because the internet what came out in 95 so you know if you if you were born in 1995 you are as old as the internet if you if you if you came out at 97 or something then uh you are older than the internet oh oh glorious day glorious doris day oh i'm gonna use it i'm gonna use it maybe this is cheating maybe it's cheating but, um, that's okay. I know I'm supposed to use, it might be cheating, whatever, it's not that big of a deal. You guys will get over it. Yeah, whatever, yeah, where's the, hold on, one second. You can't see this on the screen, which is maybe confusing. Uh, but there we go, we got, we got the candle. Because we can just give ourselves the candle again, which is what I did. Uh, I guess we'll go this way. Also, I'll use that. Also, I won't take the Halo of Flies because I might have already accidentally cheated by taking the cube of meat here, which I feel kind of bad about, to be honest with you. Um, also, a lot of you said that the Sacred Heart thing was totally cool. Like, so people were like yelling at me to take the Sacred Heart, apparently, so I'm glad. I'm glad because I... There was no way that I could pass that up. There's just no way. There's no way that I could pass up Sacred Heart in a legitimate way. Like, there's no way that I legitimately could find Sacred Heart and not take it. There's just no chance. It's been too damn long. The amount of time that that elapsed between me having Sacred Heart and me not having Sacred Heart. Oh god. Okay, this is this is a bad this is a bad room. Okay, good. We killed the dude. He dropped his little spider friends, which will die. A horrible, horrible death. Okay, Gertie. Gertie's not so bad. I can deal with Gertie. Yeah. I, I appreciate... I like Gertie. Uh, this is not the boss room, which sucks balls. Sucks real hard balls. Like, firm, firm testicles. That's what it sucks. It sucks firm testicles. I guess we'll go this way. Um, mm, not a good room. Not a good room at all! Still good. Oh, shit balls. No! Oh, that was so close. 
That was so goddamn close. Holy Nixon Sprat. Like, seriously. Wow. That was hardcore close. What is this? Shoop to whoop! No! I really need. Okay, let's see if this is greed. Because if it's greed, then that sucks. I think it has to be greed. No, it doesn't have to be greed. Glorious. Glorious day. Okay, so that we, we could go this way. We should. Oh, wonderful. And there's the boss. So we just have to. Just have to survive this room. Okay, no, we're still fine. We're still fine. Oh, right, it doesn't go three times. Man, it's been a while. It's been a while. Okay, so now we just have to not take any damage from Blue Baby, basically. All right, we already took our damage. Now we'll just get up close and personal while it goes. Okay, we're about to run out. We can do this! No, we did it! We did it! Oh, we can do it now! Okay, give me the half heart. Oh, that doesn't even help. That doesn't even help. That's okay. It's okay. It's just the one, one dude. Yes! We survived! Glory! That was amazing. I am surprised that we actually managed to do that. I'm very impressed with myself that uh, that happened. By the way, I'm going to be on Bear Stream later on today. Uh, this is going to go up at like, what, like 6.30 a.m. if I can upload it properly. Um, so, at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to be on Bear Show. He's going to do uh, a little thing. That's uh, twitch.tv slash bear taffy. B-A-E-R taffy. And uh, we're going to play some Team Fortress 2. If I can wake up at the proper time, which I hope I can. Uh, I imagine that I can, but I hope I can. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. This has been, uh, you know, another custom challenge run by Nicholas Schwerte. I, I don't... I don't know, man. I don't know how to say your name. I have absolutely no idea. He gave me a good luck and a little, like, donger man, which is cool. Uh, I can appreciate that. Also, I feel like you can do the raise your donger thing in the new Google Plus chat. Probably. Like, in the comments section, you could probably do a raise your dongers. Which I'm not saying raise your dongers or, you know, do give dire tight or whatever. But, I mean, you can. I'm just saying that is, I think, an option available, afforded to you now. So, that's a thing. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Body Advisor Rad Lab. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, by the way, in the description is where you can go to post your custom challenge runs or go there and upvote a custom challenge run so that I can know what you want to see. This one was upvoted by five points. We could get a couple more upvotes on it, guys. Come on now. Also, don't upvote the ones that, um... Don't upvote the ones that already have, uh... Yeah, or have me saying done. I like, I like type done on it, essentially. So, that's... How that works. I could show you. I could like show you me with the doneness. You wanna see it? You wanna see it? I'll show it to you. I'll show it to you right now. Here we go. This is where you post custom challenge runs. You see it? Boom. Boom. That's it. You see how it says done there? Look at that. look at where it says done. Boom. I did it. I did the challenge run. You see? I wonder if I could, can I zoom in like that? No, I can't. Okay. Well, uh, anyway, so yeah, you could uh, post your custom challenge runs right there. Slash r slash, that's where you go. But reddit.com slash r slash alpaca patrol is how you do it. Right there. And, uh, and yeah, and then just go to the, uh, go to the main page. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I love you all. You're beautiful, beautiful people. Seriously. You are great. Also, I have to get used to my new hotkeys for my outro because it's right here. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. This is alpaca patrol signing out. Peace, fools.